Okay, um, staying on the topic of history, I'm very upset right now. The Greek island of Leros is a World War II history buff's dream come true. And that's where Amir Weitzman, who we fondly call Aquaman, steps in. Now, Leros, provided, of course, that they're willing to get wet. If you're willing to get wet, you are getting into the best present of your life. The following report looks at the underwater museum located off that island of Leros, the, the island's coast. Let's take a look at it and what was found underwater. Quite amazing. And then speak to the man who dove deep to get that info. Let's take a look. Long before the Greek islands were a landing point for desperate refugees fleeing Africa in search for a better life in Europe, the region was the theater of heavy clashes during World War II. The island of Leos, located in the eastern Aegean Sea, suffered months of heavy bombardments at the hands of the Luftwaffe as part of the German campaign to take it from the Allies. The Nazis succeeded in capturing Leos, and artifacts of their four-year occupation can be found strewn across the small island. But the real treasure trove of war artifacts are found in the waters around the island. Among the debris littering the seabed are remains of planes, ships, mines, submarines, even human bones. Today, the wrecks are the playground of deep-sea divers and aquatic archaeologists. As these images show, the clear waters are the perfect setting for an underwater museum of sorts, the seaweed-covered weapons telling the stories of long-gone battles. Citizens of the islands hope to capitalize on their rare Nazi artifacts and pressure local authorities into making it a proper conservation site so that visitors and historians alike can share in the experience. And we have the man who dove deep and, and, and brought us those amazing images. First of all, let me write some good morning to you. Thank you for being here. What did we just see? Is that an old U-boat? No, uh, we saw uh, Arado 196. It's a German uh, uh, um, aircraft for uh, making pictures and, and we saw a mine, mm -hmm. an Italian mine is alive at 48 meters right. and we saw a uh, uh, rifle, German uh, rifle from uh, World War II. I want us to see those pictures again. Let's see those pictures again from underwater because um, this is quite amazing footage. Um, and those things were sitting are sitting underwater, obviously, for nearly, you know, what, 70 years? Um. <laughs> from the end of the war. This is an anchor that anch uh, the net against the submarine, against vessels that uh, want to approach uh, the um, Leros Island. Leros Island have four main uh, bays, natural bays, that uh, could protect submarines and uh, Aircraft wow. it can land on water and uh, take off from the water, so the bay was protected by a net, underwater nets. Now it's amazing that you know machine guns or actually rifles were kept or, or, are still underwater. The mines, the, the island of Leros, which we all actually remember from the past two years, um, uh, sadly enough, because so many refugees were fleeing there. I mean, that's one thing they have to mm -hmm. contend with. Are they using this as part of the you know um, I would say tourism of the island? of attracting people to go down under sea and, and see these old Nazi relics? Not too much, not too much. Why? The island of Leros is a small island, uh, only uh, 8,000 uh, habitat on the oh, island. Right. Not a lot of tourist uh, attractions, um, but they have a lot of history, a lot of history. We can see the communication room and the, the, the Nazi symbol wow. that was like a message from World War II to me. Like, um, you are in the war. Yeah, I, I felt like in the, I'm in the war. When you see that, it's amazing that that, and that, that remained, and we tend to forget it, but, you know, luckily we have Jeff, who was there at the time, um, to, <laughs> <laughs> to remind us what it, what it all meant. Uh, but, but amazing, um, yeah. uh, amazing underwater. Leos was a main uh, log logistic, logistic uh, um, uh, hub for, for the For, for the everybody, Nazi. for the Italians from uh, 1923, for the Germans, for the English, everybody wanted to control Leros because Leros was in the middle. In the middle of everything. Now we saw those um, artifacts there. This but is this private museum in somebody's house. He collect all this uh, stuff from the from the ground from from his house. This is the Arado 196 that we saw. This is the mine, the mine with the spikes that they brought out. And wow. this is the entrance to the port of Lucky, <sighs> okay. the main port. 
And no, no, unbelievable. And as we said, in Laris, in Greece, if you are a World War II buff, um, yes, thank you, Amir. We're going to lock you in the studio because it is the time for Ami Kaufman to show us the <clears throat> insanity that.